All right, did the Elderton 5K. Finished first overall in like 1820. Um, it was actually a nice year for it. It was kind of um, overcast. Uh, it's, vehicle says 73 right now. It probably doesn't feel like it. It feels like maybe low 60s. Um, it's a Friday evening race. It's traditionally very hot and humid because the sun bakes down on the road all day long. Um, so tonight being overcast was awesome. Um, didn't get as hot or overheated. Uh, there wasn't as many people as in past years. So that was a little disappointing. But it's a nice Friday evening race. You get a cool trophy. Let's see if I can grab it because I'm not driving yet. So they give you these trophies for your uh, age group and overall and this is what overall and then I think walkers top three walkers or something get two um, so like for 15 bucks you know you get a shot at a trophy a race supports the fire company and if you register early enough a t-shirt so it's a hell of a deal um, very nice race firemen are very nice every year I probably did this five times now maybe one like three hour four Four, I forget, I have to look at home. Um, I know the last two years I won, so anyway, I always enjoy it uh, again because they're so nice to me, <coughs> so I keep coming back. Plus, I mean, being a Friday evening race, it's nice to be able to uh, mix it up a little bit, see a little bit of a different crowd. Um, you know, people getting off work, you know, getting ready for the weekend. Um, Stuff like that. It's like it starts at seven, so it's never dark. It's getting a little uh, darkish now. That's just because they just did awards. Um, but course itself is not overly hard per se. Again, the hardest part is usually the heat and humidity and the uh, I want to call it like the radiant heat coming off the asphalt. Um, but they always have like a police vehicle or a fire truck leading the way um, so you don't get lost. You're not really going to get lost because they also mark the ground. Um, so as long as you pay attention, like if there's nobody in front of you, but there's always going to be somebody in front of you anyhow. Or somebody directing traffic. Uh, there's always, always, like we'll say like 100 or 200 people like cheering you on watching you um during the race throughout the town as you go through the different blocks so that's kind of cool like this year there this one uh loop there was probably 10 to 12 like people just watching as we went by so that was pretty cool like all lined up in uh folding chairs <coughs> so i enjoyed that a little bit um i don't know it's I don't want to say it's an out and back, but it's got a couple of like little loops that come back on each other. The um, besides the heat, like the last three-ish tents are probably the hardest part, like terrain-wise, because you're going up like a little bit of a hill to finish the race, um, which could really suck the life out of you if, when it's hot. Other than that, it's not bad. Um, I just started slow today. And then gradually picked up pace. I, I don't even know what my times were. I think like f under six the first two miles. I don't know what the last one was. I'd have to look. Um, well, the last mile is always going to be slower anyhow because of the, the hill and coming back up. Um, I'm trying to think what else is really say. It was pretty straightforward this year. Uh, I let a bunch of like little kids just do their thing, sprint. As I slowly, like, I guess, took over. Um, but running slow has really been paying off lately, saving so much energy for the second half of the race. Um, was a little bit worried. I really wasn't feeling it too much or energetic before the race. I didn't get into the race mode. Um, just because I came from work, and didn't really get into the proper mindset. Uh, and this week I stepped it up a little bit on my bike, you know, cranking up the like a three setting. And then I ran a couple days with my weight vest 
think I did yesterday too. Yeah, I think I wore my eight pound weight vest and did like five miles with it yesterday with my sauna suit on. So I was definitely working my legs pretty hard the last couple of days. Um, so they, they're not fresh. And then like a couple of minutes before the start, I was like, I feel a little bit weird. There's something off. And I just happened to look down at my legs. I forgot my calf sleeves. I never do like a race without calf sleeves. So like mentally, I like checked out a little bit. Um, just one of those things just screwed with me mentally a little bit. Uh, other than that, I guess it was pretty straightforward. I just, I think I ran comfortably. Starting out slow just allowed me to run comfortably. Once I got increased my pace and kept increasing it, it just allowed me to run uh, comfortably the rest of the time. So instead of like burning out right away, I gradually got into the groove. And then once I found the groove, I was able to maintain it instead of going out fast and then pulling back. So it seems to be helping, but. Not much else to really speak of, um, per se today. Just try and uh, save some energy for tomorrow, Lower Hill 20K. Um, but I had a good time. It was a good crowd. Got to talk to a bunch of different people. I'm glad I came. Glad the weather was good. Um, hopefully more people come next year. I guess that's about it for today. Eh, whatever.